Hey, welcome to another video for our jokes application. We're currently enhancing the application to include user logins and then we're going to do some security issues to make sure that this uh, password uh, login process is secure. So let's take a look at where we're going with this video. So I'm going to show you the end product before we begin typing here. So I have a register new user file that I created earlier and that's what we're going to make here in a minute. So it's going to show us a form with two passwords and then an OK button. So we're going to invent a new user. So let's call this guy Benny and we're going to make up a password. I'm going to just call it 123 as his password and click OK. All right, it says trying to add a new user Benny. His password is 123 and the confirm was 123 and it says registration success return to main. All right, so let's see what happened in the database. So I'm going to go to the uh, PHP my admin to see what happened in the database to see if I actually registered a new user or not. So let's go see my jokes uh, tables here. And remember I created a file or folder called users, a new table. Let's browse. So you can see that I've just created a new guy called Benny and the password was 123. So that's what we're trying to accomplish in this video and perhaps the next. Uh, remember, the first thing I showed you is I'm looking to create a new file here, or yeah, actually a new PHP file called uh, registernewuser.php. So let's, uh, let's start by creating that. All right, so I'm bringing up here uh, Visual Studio Code. I think in previous videos I was using uh, Notepad++. This is just an updated version of the same thing. It's a text editor. So I'm bringing up my code editor and I'm going to just start with the index page. We're going to copy and paste some code here. So let's, uh, let's copy the entire page. So I'm going to press Control A and then I can copy everything. And now I want to create a new file here and it's called uh, register new user. Okay, and I'm going to paste the code inside of here. Now the reason why I just copied and pasted everything is because I want to make the style sheet here, the jQuery, and everything else. Hey, by the way, while I'm uh, creating this login form, you can see that on the uh, display I've created these three links. And so these three links are going to bring us to a logout form, a, the login form, and the register new user form. And so this will prevent a lot of typing and it's just, uh, just handy for the user. So this is what my uh, form looks like right now. I just have very simple text links. It might be better to make these into buttons or something more beautiful, but these are functional. So let's see, what can I delete? I'm going to start with a title and say, please register. And let's see, I've got some links in there I'm going to delete. Let's go uh, further into the PHP. So we're going to use the database, and uh, we're not going to search all jokes, so I'll delete that. And we are going to use a form. So we're going to need one form. Let's see, there is one form, and we'll keep him. And the second form that starts with a horizontal break, we will delete. So let's see, all the way down to the end there. Okay, so there's my starting code. What I want to do is, let's, let's take a look here. Save this, and let's see what the code actually looks like. So register new user, PHP. This is what it looks like uh, at present. So we're going to change this search input to actually say, uh, please enter a new username, and then we'll add two more text fields here. Uh, it looks like search for a joke needs to go away, and we have an error message here. So we've got a few things to clean up yet. Okay, the part about search for jokes here. Let's take that out. And uh, where was the last issue? Down here, we have a SQL close. Okay, so that we need to put in a PHP start tag and an end tag. All right, so let's go into the form. So the form, we're going to change a few things. Uh, this is, instead of search input, we're going to say, please uh, put in a username. The label, we'll call it username. What else do we have? Input ID is called username. Uh, the type, instead of search, it's just plain old text. The name is username. The placeholder, let's see, instead of chicken, we'll put in your name. And what else do we have? We got down here a description. So enter a keyword, let's see. We'll put in there, please enter a username. 
So I'm going to put in a comment to see what I'm doing. This is text entry. I'm going to copy and paste this comment down here. This is actually the button. And so for the button, or instead of doing a search, I'm going to say uh, create new user as the title. All right, let's save that. And now let's see what our form looks like. We'll refresh it again. We got the username. That looks correct. Now I want to copy and paste this uh, text uh, entry form and create two entries for password. So we can copy the entire chunk of text here that says username and we'll paste it down here. We'll change this to password. We'll call it password1, how about? Okay, anything else? Uh, the user input is called password1. The reason why I'm using a 1 is because I'm going to have two of them. Okay, the type. Instead of having a clear text password, there is a type in HTML called password, and that will allow the user to put in a password and it'll have the, the security dots. Okay, so let's save that and I'll show you what I mean by security dots here. Okay, so if I try to type something here for a type password, it just comes out as dots. Okay, so username and password. I'm going to put in one more password so they can confirm it. So let's copy and paste the password again. Now this is going to be just one change is to type in a 2 there instead of a 1. Okay, and I'll tell the user to please confirm the password. Let's save and refresh. Okay, it's looking pretty good here. So we've got two passwords. Okay, so the last thing I need to update is the action for the button, or the action for the form, I should say. Let's see what the action's set for right now. So right now, if I click that button, it would go to search keyword. And so I want to change that. We're going to invent a new file called process uh, new user and that will handle the input and create the database uh, entry for the new user. So let's refresh this page here and then I'm going to try to enter a new password and create the new user. So it says here uh, you tried to go to this page here called process new user and it's not found on the server. It looks like we have some more work to do so maybe this is a good stopping point for this video and we will create process new user on the next video.